I choose the right preset? I get this question a lot, so let me show you. First, I'm gonna choose the selfie or the photo that I want to edit. Um, I'm gonna go for the first one. I feel like it's just a little more inviting and playful. So then I'll go into my preset library. Then you need to think about what are you trying to do with your selfie? Because we're not just posting selfies to get likes and validation. We're posting selfies to create a mood or to stop people in their scroll and cause them to engage and read your caption. So do I want to be bright and warm? This one is a little more moody. So I need to think about what I might be using this selfie for. Um, if I'm going to use it to draw people in to tell them about my offer or if I'm going to talk to them about my weekend plans. What you don't want to do when you're choosing presets is have your skin turned a certain color that does not look realistic. This is so blue, I kind of look like I'm freezing. So I wouldn't do that one. Another one that I wouldn't do is this neon one. That is not going to work for a selfie. I also probably wouldn't choose anything that made my skin look overly pink or my skin look too dark. So I know that I usually like this one a lot. Rock Nostalgia is one of my favorites. It gives the photo a little bit of a grain, kind of makes it um, seem vintage and my skin tone still looks like a skin tone. So here's the before and here's the after. If I didn't want to add that much change to my photo, I would choose something simple like Beautylicious, which just highlights the colors in the skin and the makeup. And that is how I choose my presets when I'm editing a selfie.